Hi Lorraine, thank you for taking the time to speak with us today. If you could just introduce yourself, please. My name is Ren Taylor. I am um, principal at Hartsell Academy, which is a um, relatively large school, 1,000 students um, in the Neaton in Warwickshire. Thanks very much. Um, and you've been working with Leadership Edge for quite a while now. And I just wonder if you could take us back to the start and why you started working with Leadership Edge. Yeah, so I started working with Leadership Edge through my coach from a different programme. And my first coaching session was amazing. I, I came out of it and I it wasn't what I expected at all. And it really made me stop. And I think that's the thing for me, it really made me stop. It made me stop and reflect on what I was doing and, and how I was as a leader. And I really got a lot from it. So it, it's kind of grown for me from, from there, really. Great. And the impact that it's had on you, obviously, then it's been cascaded amongst your colleagues. So how have other people responded to being part of the Leadership Edge programme? Yeah, so I think from, from that initial coaching that I had, I then started to look into what, what is it Leadership Edge do and how can we kind of grow that? And actually the idea of how I become a coach myself, and because I wanted to know what my coach was doing. So in these coaching sessions, what was it they were doing that was that was working for me so well? Um, and so I learned, I learned how to be a coach um, through the Leadership Edge Foundation level programme. Um, and then I, I've got some other members of staff in my school involved in that. Um, so there's, there's three or four of us who were being coached by the same person, learning how to be coaches at the same time. Um, and then from that, it's kind of grown. So then we, we've then become um, practicing coaches and we've coached members of staff in our school. So we've all got one or two people who we've coached there. I've since moved school and I've now developed it into my new school as well. And I've now got some of the leadership edge coaches working with some staff in my school and myself working with coach, uh, working coaching people in school so that we kind of grow this model of, of what how people are impacted by coaching. Great. And why do you think it's so important? What benefits does it bring to an organisation in your school? I think it's, it's that stopping and reflecting. Coaching makes you stop and reflect. Um, and I find sometimes in, in a coaching session, you go into a coaching session and you come out with a weight lifted and you didn't necessarily know that that weight needed lifting. Um, but it, it's by that stopping and thinking about you, you can be talking and thinking about one thing in a coaching session it actually leads to a chain of other things that you hadn't kind of linked together or thought about because you haven't taken that time to stop. But the fact that, that I'm I'm having coaching and then my team are having coaching means we're all stopping and reflecting and thinking about why we are doing what we're doing as leaders, which makes us better leaders. So that's that's kind of been the the impact really that it's had on us as, as a team and then hopefully now on my new team as well. Great. And it sounds wonderful, doesn't it? I think a lot of school leaders love the idea of everybody having time to stop and reflect and think, but there must be logistical challenges or challenges in creating a, a space for your leaders and for your staff. Could you talk us um, through a little bit of the challenges that you've faced and how you've overcome them in establishing a, a coaching culture? Yeah, definitely. I think that's our biggest challenge is to, in a busy school day, finding the time to stop and have the time to do the coaching is difficult. And that's the thing that we've had to be really quite strict about booking in our calendars and making sure it happens because it's easy to kind of go, oh, we'll move that one back, move that one back, especially when it's the internal coaching you're doing and it's not with an external person. So making sure you have the time for that. Um, but it, it makes you it makes you a better coach in your coaching sessions. It makes you a better line manager in your line management um, as, of your teams as well, even though ones you are not directly coaching. I felt that I've not really been moving somebody on where I think they could move move quicker with what they're doing than, than what um, I've been able to do. But by coaching them, it gets you to a point where you understand them in a different way and then you can help them to make that development and that progress quicker than I would have without the, the kind of taking the time to stop and reflect with the coaching. So it, it's got its challenges, but actually it also helps move things along quicker as well at some points in time, depending on how you're using that in the school. Fascinating, isn't it, how we perceive time? And we are so busy, you know, you're so busy in school, but to take 45 minutes once a fortnight or once a half term or ho however often can actually speed things up in the long run and remembering it's a, a marathon, not a sprint. And, uh, and to hear you talk about coaching almost like a tool in your toolbox. It's not the only way that you have conversations with staff, but to have it there to bring out when it's relevant has been useful for you to help the pro progress of, of other member staff as well as your own you feel like it's a luxury to stop and have mm. those 45 minutes and take that but actually it moves it moves things along quicker for you in the long run because you're 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 being more efficient in what you're doing because you actually you're taking that time to stop and listen 
and understanding what the what the problems are and what's slowing us down and what's speeding us up and how we can work together on that because you're listening more to what those people you're working with so even though it's not necessarily a coaching session it's a line management you end up using those coaching skills in your line management and some people are starting to recognize that now oh, you're using that coaching coaching talk on us so yeah it's, it's been really positive all around fantastic so if there were any school leaders out there curious about coaching how you do it how to make best use of it and what the benefits are what advice would you give them um, I would say start start with a couple of coaching sessions yourself. For me, I was quite um, I was quite unsure about coaching to start with. I thought I was just doing it as part of my course, like I said. Um, but it really it really has an impact, um, and I think that's it, I, I've said before it, it, it's magical. So my coach doesn't tell me anything. She asks me questions. She repeats things back to me. Um, she doesn't tell me anything. But you always come out of a coaching session with all these ideas and all this thinking that was you had or and already. But by stopping and taking that time, you've 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 achieved that in that session. Um, so if anyone is thinking about it, I would say definitely just just start with a couple of coaching sessions yourself and see what it's all about, and then have that conversation around how you can can kind of cascade that in your school and have that impact on more than more than just your senior team. Absolutely, and we love that. You know, we're great believers in that. If you're going to drive something forward in your school, you have to really believe in it, don't you? And and have had that experience yourself, and so you've got the passion. To, to move forward with it so we're delighted um, obviously that, that you did that in your last school and you've moved forward with it into Hearts Hill as well so thank you for that and, and good luck with the rest of your journey that's brilliant thank you very much thanks so much